Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the World Cup Sticker Book Collection and uh, I almost said here on Xbox One. It's not here on Xbox One, everything else is on Xbox One that we do on the channel. But uh, we're opening some more packs today. Of course, we I had some fantastic pulls in the last episode, putting Iniesta and Angel Di Maria in the first two packs alone, or first two cards alone, let alone packs. And then, uh, and then, of course, we pulled Sergio Aguero, Juan Mata a little bit later on. So we're doing quite well so far this week. This is, of course, going up on Wednesday. So Team of the Season is out. It came out about an hour and a half ago as I'm about to upload this. So uh, you guys will be able to check out Team of the Season most consistent gold, silver and bronze squads as well as Team of the Week. It's going to be something like 60 plus informs available in packs right now. So if... Uh, You've got some coins or some FIFA points, etc., then go and spend some money because uh, you might as well uh, pull yourself an inform. But anyway, let's get on with the packs. And the first one is half of a stadium in Brasilia, which is actually the uh, the capital city of uh, of Brazil, I think, as opposed to Rio de Janeiro, that a lot of people think is actually the cap capital city. The uh, the second player we pull, or first player, but second card we pull is Costas Katsouranis, a, uh, a midfielder from PAOK playing for Greece. Uh, the next player is Falcao. That's very, very nice indeed. 90 rated player on FIFA. Of course, not sure whether he's actually going to go to the World Cup because of that ACL knee ligament injury. Matthew Debuti. Oh, Matteo Debuti. I think we've pulled him already. I'm not entirely too sure whether he's a duplicate or not. I think he is, but uh, I may be getting mixed up with the online uh, one as well. And we also get Aldo De Nigris. From, uh, from Mexico, plays for uh, Kivas Guadalajara in the Liga MX. Of course, if uh, you can't get your hands on the, the books, etc., then feel free to do the online sticker book as well. There's a link in the description so that you can check that out. I know a lot of you guys have been, actually been doing it uh, recently, putting a lot of very, very nice players. And you guys keep letting me know in the comment section as well of the players that you're putting in your sticker book as well as online, as in this sticker book as opposed to the online one. And a lot of you, everybody seems to be getting messy left, right and centre. And to be fair, I think that's pretty... Uh Pretty apt considering oh, well, we pull Waris Mahid or Mayid or Majid, place of Valenciennes in France, obviously a Ghanaian footballer. Sorry if that was a little bit out of camera shot. But uh, everyone seems to be pulling Lionel Messi. There doesn't seem to be too much uh, quote unquote pack weight uh, difference in between these and you know uh, Ultimate Team, as in uh, Messi and Ronaldo, etc., are quite hard to find on Ultimate Team, whereas in this, people seem to pull in the big players left, right and centre, although the, the next player we get is Admir Memedi, plays for uh, for Freiburg in Germany from uh, from Switzerland. He, of course, isn't a rare player, neither is Quack Tai Hui from, uh, from Al Halal in uh, the South, not South Korean, Saudi Arabia, plays in, uh, in Saudi Arabia for Al Halal, obviously a South Korean footballer. Uh, the next one is Makoto Hasebe, obviously plays for FC Nuremberg in Germany. He, again, sorry if that was out of camera shot, it plays for the Japanese team as a midfielder. And then the final player from this pack is a Real Madrid player, Fabio Coentrao, obviously the Portuguese left-back. Will uh, probably be starting at left-back for Portugal in the World Cup, you would presume. Although they do have uh, players such as Elisu, etc. But I'm not sure whether he's actually going to uh, to go to the tournament. But let's jump into the third pack then, see if we can pull any shinies in this one. We didn't have a shiny at all in the last uh, pack opening, I don't think. So uh, hopefully we can get something uh, shiny in this one, as well as... Oh, it's another uh, another Iranian, Adnirak Temurian. I think he's a duplicate, to be completely honest. I've got three of him on the online one. As you can see there, I accidentally turned around the second one for this one as well. It's a half of a stadium, the Estadio Nacional. In fact, that may even be the... It is. It's the other side of the one that we pulled earlier on in the earlier packs. So there you go. That's the entire stadium. Estadio Nacional from Brasilia. A capacity of 72,741. But so let's move on to the rest of the pack. And the next card we pull is another Japanese player. It's Yasuyu Yasuyuki Kono. Uh, again, I keep holding these out of camera shot. I do apologise. Yasuyuki Kono plays for Japan. He is a defender. Next player we pull is Alvaro Gonzalez. Obviously, a midfielder plays for Lazio and Uruguay in uh, in Serie A. And the last player in the third pack is another Portuguese guy. It's Ricardo Costa. He's a centre back. Obviously, he plays for Valencia in La Liga, so not the most exciting of pulls so far, but still some decent players in there if you were to look at uh, look at it from an ultimate team standpoint. Of course, uh, some La Liga players, some Serie A players, uh, a couple of players from big nations, like the, the two Portuguese guys we've just pulled. Of course, getting a stadium as well is quite nice to actually complete a stadium rather than have just half of a stadium sat there in the book. Of course, on Sunday, we will go through the book again and uh, we'll see what we've been able to pull so far, but let's get cracking with this Fourth pack, and the first card is Alexander 
Kokorin playing for uh, for Russia as he plays with Dinamo Moscow in uh, in Russia in the the home domestic league there. Neymar, hello mate, that's a fantastic pull. I don't have him yet in this uh, in this sticker book collection, so Neymar is definitely going to go straight into the Brazilian side. Let me pull Ricardo Montalivo, of course, just left the club in the AC Milan career mode series that we're doing on the channel right now, but he's going to go in to our book. And then the next pull is Joel Campbell, of course, scored a great goal for Olympiacos against Manchester United in the Champions League earlier on this season. Of course, plays for Costa Rica. He's actually on loan at Olympiacos from Arsenal. And then the final player from that pack is Juan Carlos Paredes, plays for Barcelona in the uh, Ecuadorian League, of course, plays for Ecuador national side as well. So let's move into the final pack. Almost done with this video. Of course, there was an AC Milan Carimo video uploaded earlier on today, so feel free to check the channel page for that. If you missed it, there will have been a My Player episode uploaded last night as well. It actually had the Johnston's Paint Trophy final in it, so feel free to check that out on the channel page as well if you missed it. Of course, subscribe as well if you're, uh, if you're new around here. We recently hit 8,400 subscribers earlier on today, which is absolutely superb. So let's move into the final pack. And the first player we get is Quadro Asamoa, very, very good Ghanaian left winger, plays for Juventus in the Serie A. Next player is Christian Zapata, another Serie A player, this time playing for Colombia, the centre-back from AC Milan, of course still at the club in our AC Milan career mode. Number 598 is Rafik Jabour, obviously the Algerian striker recently moved to Nottingham Forest in, uh, in the previous uh, January transfer window, doing quite well there. Rafael Marquez, of course, formerly of Barcelona, plays for Club Leon in uh, the Liga MX. Nice Mexican player to go in there. And the final pa player we put is five player we put final player we pull is Senad Lulic, the player that we do have at AC Milan, but he's actually out on loan for us at Liverpool right now. But that's going to round out this one with that uh, the Bosnian beast. So that's going to bring this pack opening to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Fortunately, as far as I'm aware, no duplicates there unless Matcha Debussy is a duplicate himself. I will quickly check what group are France in. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Not group H. Let's have a quick look. Of course, feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. I've got a cheeky Twitter mug with a bit of coffee in it. So feel free to follow me on Twitter. There's a, there's a, a link in the description to uh, to my Twitter. And of course, like I say, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we don't have Macho Debussy. I was getting mixed up with my uh, with my online one. So we do have no duplicates. Again, we're doing very, very well with that, actually, because I know a lot of people are putting in uh, duplicates left, right and centre. So every single one of the cards that we pulled in this pack will go into the book and uh, we'll recap that on Sunday. We'll have more of this pack opening on a Friday night and then, of course, Saturday night as well. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.